What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Python 3 Basics video. In this video we're now going to be discussing the concept of global and local variables. So when users start using functions they quickly get a little confused when it comes to global and local variables. And they get this, you know, dreaded, you know, variable not defined, uh, even when they clearly see that it is defined, or so they think. So these terms of global and local corresponds to a variable's reach uh, within a script or a program. So a global variable is a variable that can be accessed anywhere. A local variable, the opposite, means it can only be accessed within its, you know, environment or its frame. So a local variable cannot be accessed globally, inherently anyways, and a global variable can be, right? But you've got to turn it into a global variable and some people have a misunderstanding of what a global variable actually is. So let's go ahead and give some examples. So if you, if you haven't committed this to memory, no problem. I think actually seeing um, helps, under, helps you to understand. So x equals six. This variable has no parent function, but it's actually not a global variable. It just so happens that it's committed to memory before any sort of function or anything is called. So for example, we can say define example, and we can actually say, uh, you know, z equals five, print z, uh, and that's totally fine. And we can call example, and as we uh, expect, it's going to print 5. So we know that works. Um, but what uh, starts giving trouble to people is instead of, let's get rid of this, and let's say you want to print x. Well, we run this function, and we see we can print x. So we were able to access x from this function. And um, what happens is users naively think that because they were able to access it, now they're able to play with this variable, let's say. So print x plus 5. Okay. So they start playing with it. They see, okay, well, we can start modifying it and all this. Cool, cool, cool. So we have, you know, access to this. But the problem is when they start to do something like this, x plus equals 6, and they go to run it, <clears throat> and you see unbound local error. Local variable x is referenced before assignment. Yet, this makes people just pull out their hair because, uh, first of all, they never got their, they didn't get the, the things printed. So they're freaking out like, so they didn't get the you know confirmation here. Because when you get rid of this, it does print them. <laughs> it's only, you only get that error whenever uh, you try to actually do something, like add six to that variable. And so they start pulling out their hair because up till now they thought they were getting away with doing that but the problem is x is not a global variable so uh, there's a few ways that you can get around this obviously the easiest thing to do would be to convert x to a global variable so to do that you type out global space x and what that does is it's notifying python that hey guys x is actually a global variable and so now what we can do is print x and then we can even do x plus equals 5, print x. So now we go to run this. Sure enough, 6, 11, everything worked. We were able to use our global variable. Now, that's it for global variables, but uh, a lot of teachers you're going to find, um, or maybe you work for a company or something, and the uh, CTO says uh, nobody gets to use global functions. Uh, or, I mean, global variables, don't use them. So some people don't like the idea of using global variables. There's actually, you know, a couple of things you can do to get around this. Um, one, one way that people will do it is the following. They might say global, globe x equals x, because we already know we can access x, we just can't modify it. So then you could print uh, globe x, and then we could do globe x plus equals 5, and print... Uh, globe x and we're able to do that 611 so we get the same output that we wanted um, but maybe we're not happy with that because when we do this now we've changed variables here so, and also globe x is a local variable and so we're not able to access globe x outside of this function so say we've got multiple functions and we want them to work together 
We're not going to be able to do that. So what do you do instead? Well, generally what you're going to see is instead, uh, you'll get everything up to this point, no problem. But instead what we'll have, uh, what users will do is they're going to return globex with example. So when this function is run, it's going to return a value. And what this means is it's almost like when you do 5 plus 5 in Python. What 5 plus 5 does is it returns 10. And so by that same token, what we can do is if you wanted to set a value to 5 plus 5, or set a vari 5 plus 5 equal to a variable, what you would do is you would say maybe x equals the function of example. And now print um, whoops. print x, save and run that, we see that we were able to do that. So this is one way that you can actually end up modifying this within the main loop, let's say, um, without using global variables. Because again, some people really just are very anal about global variables. So uh, hopefully that helps some of you guys out, uh, especially with the whole uh, you know, accessing this local variable but then not being able to modify it. Um, so hopefully uh, save you guys from pulling out your hair. Uh, this is something that did give me some trouble when I was starting out. So hopefully I save you guys some of that. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.